Hi Scorpio, it's Elle here to do your June 2018 general reading. Um, whatever comes up is what comes out. Uh, okay, a few announcements. I put my website um, on hold because it was too many people booking and it was just confusing. Um, anytime you book a reading with me, there is a four day wait. Doesn't matter what reading it is, four days. Um, unless you book, um, you pay extra to do the same day. Okay? So, if you don't pay extra, you know it's four days. And then those four days exclude the weekend, Saturday and Sunday. I do not work on the weekend. Okay? Alright, so let's get started. <clears throat> Thank you for the messages for Scorpio. Let's do a five card advice spread. First card is Scorpio right where they are. Second card, are you on your correct path? Third card, what's your main obstacle? Fourth card, what's helping you? What is helping you, Scorpio? Fifth card, how can progress be made? Bottom of the deck, two of fire. Someone has to, okay, so somebody's at a crossroads. Do they stay where they are? Do they go a, a new path, chart a new path? That's pretty much the question. Could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Transformation, wow, you right where you are. The death card. All right, you are transforming. You are ending some things. You know there's a new beginning. Are you on your correct path? Yes, you are the star card. Nice. Some of you dealing with an Aquarius. This is so funny to me because I know somebody in this situation. Um, are you on your correct path? The star talks about being on your correct path, healing, restoration. You're on that path. So that's really good. Uh, what is your main obstacle? Eight of fire. Things moving fast. Might even be uh, communication in regards to the trouble that used to lie in a relationship. Uh, this also could be the arrows of love. I mean, it could be any. It, it, it's swift movement, communication. Okay. Um, <clears throat> what is helping you? The three of air. Wow. So it might be that you're swiftly moving toward a separation here. Um, you could be moving toward a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, uh, Aquarius, or separating from an Aquarius. Um, this is separation, divorce, the need to practice caution in relationship due to infidelity. All right, how can progress be made? Messenger of fire, wow, let that fire sign come in and help you, Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. Um, they might be younger than you. Or just a little bit immature. They're in and out. They they hadn't figured you out, so I don't know. You know they may, you may have to be make a decision, and so do they. They need to make a decision. Are they in or out? And you need to make a decision about a an active decision. Some of you moving, or you got to move, or make a decision about moving. I don't know. What is the eight of fire? What is the eight of fire? What is the eight of whoa? Okay. Sagittarius, Capricorn, Ace of Water, Ace of Cups. So for some of you, it might be that it might be a, a toxic situation you're in a uh a complicated one it might be another party involved there might be addictions codependency you might depend on this person they depend on you um yeah you might be having communication with someone else in regards to the trouble that's in this relationship while at the same time having either love for this person or new love this talks about uh, new love new friendship so either you're rekindling or there's new love here who is the star card? What's the star card? What's the star card? What path are my Scorpios on? The Queen of Air. 
Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Typically, Gemini uh, could be either air sign. Uh, you might be cutting this person out or they're cutting you out. There's an ending. New beginnings with transformation. King of air. Yeah. So a marriage, a long-standing relationship could be on the rocks, could be ending. There's separation. And then there's someone else coming in for you, Scorpio. Who is the messenger of fire? Messenger of fire. Messenger of fire. Messenger of fire. Five of air. You might have had harsh communication with them, an argument uh, with this person. Fire sign. Yeah, there's a lot of change around this person. Maybe the argument was about all the changes that you've been through, about the fact that you need to cut something or someone out of your life, or vice versa. That's what the arguing has been about. Two of earth, two of fire. Yeah. You have, you're weighing up the decision. Do I stay? Do I go? You have two very real options. Scorpio with the two of earth and then the two of fire. Yeah, you have two very real options here. The two of earth and then the two of fire. They've manifested for you. Which way are you going with the two of fire? That's action. So which action are you taking? All right, let's see if we can get some different messages for a different set of Scorpio. do this don't do this spread all right okay so the first card will be what the situation deals with okay. first card what does the situation deal with second card don't do this so i'm not going to do this the third card do this and then the fourth card is what the situation will lead to if you take the tarot card's advice. Okay. All right, what the situation deals with. Seven of Wands, maybe a defensive uh, fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, or you just needed to stand your ground in, um, in regards to something. There's a lot of people coming at you. Um, you're trying to defend yourself. You might have done something or not. Um, or you acted in a manner that um, maybe a lot of people didn't necessarily hold in high regard and now you have to defend yourself you have to defend your actions and or, or your words don't do this the magician okay don't be manipulative don't be don't manipul manipulate the situation let it play out as it will um you don't want to be manipulative you okay it's like this you be manipulative once in one situation and you have to keep being that way because keep in mind you transform the energy you know what i'm saying you transform someone's thoughts emotions by way of manipulating um the energy there the energy between you two so you'll always you always have to constantly keep up that. You can never be yourself. You always have to be that. If you're an emotional emotional manipulator, then you always have to be that. Um, if you're trying to manipulate someone out of finances uh, or to do something for you, then you, you never can be genuine. And, and they probably will never see you as genuine. So don't be manipulative or don't deal with a manipulative person if you want to switch it. 
stop being manipulated is what I heard. You know, for some of you, you know somebody's doing something. Okay, do this. The sun card. I immediately heard, be yourself. Just lay your cards on the table. Let yourself be exposed. The sun exposes the dark. The sun comes out, sheds light. Be positive too. What it leads to. The page of pentacles. Nice. Um, messages or a message of stability. Or someone wanting to. Or something. Or it could be a job. Uh, someone, someone or something um, coming along. That's something you can build upon. Capricorn Virgo Taurus. What's the page of pentacles? Page. All right, I'm going to take it. King of Wands, Page of Swords. So you might be offering something to somebody spying on a fire sign. Four cups, yeah. Okay. Yep. Um, this has something to do with children. This has something to do with Sagittarius. For some of you Scorpios, um, <clears throat> some of you, you're dealing with an immature fire sign. If not completely immature, the, the communication between you guys is immature, it's petty, it's hurtful, it's spiteful, it's very short. It might be in regards to, what is, what is this in regards to? Oh, the marriage, the problems in the marriage. And the and someone wanted to offer something stable. This could be you, Scorpio, but there's problems within this union. Yeah, there's problems here. I mean, like there's no balance. Somebody's doing more than the other. Somebody always brings it up. All right, three cards of advice for Scorpio. Three cards of advice for Scorpio. Memories, body changes, healing from the past, volunteer. Leaving. Yeah, I felt that. Like some of you you have to decide are you staying or are you going? I mean like I think the memories keep you there. Body changes. Some of you have had children or having children are pregnant now. Let yourself go because of a situation that happened. Some of you need to heal from the past. Like you you keep going back there. Volunteer. It'll put you around like minded people who um will feed to your soul. You might find your tribe, you know, your your people that you, you resonate with. Also, if some of you are single, this is a, a good way to meet people. Volunteering. Leaving relationship dynamics, yeah. Um, the dynamics of a relationship have changed. Either there's a third party or there's not or someone's just, you know, awake to the fact that somebody's very manipulative, heavenly signs are shown, you know, just popped out. Request a personal reading. Um, send me an email. The, the website will be back up and running probably Monday. Today is Friday, the 25th. So Monday, by Monday, the website will be back up and running right now. The weekend is coming. It's a holiday weekend. Um, I'm probably not going to do anything. I'm just going to be honest. 
uh scorpio remember when in doubt pray i am praying for you pray for me as well take care until june mid-month all right bye guys